It's called Tunnel Dam because they drilled an 800-foot tunnel from the dam through a hill to the powerhouse. The Niangua River makes a seven-mile meandering loop here, only to end up just the other side of a narrow ridge, about 50 feet lower in elevation. By building the dam on one side, the generators on the other, engineers got more power from the water. That's how it works. How it came to be here is another story told by one man who was there. The year 1929. The place, a remote valley in a sparsely peopled Camden County. Dozens of workmen converged to build a dam on one side of a hill, a powerhouse on the other. They built a temporary town on top of the hill, bunkhouses, cafeteria, offices, even a post office. They named their town White City, home away from home for a couple of years. Among the crew, Leonard North, he helped build the dam and dig the tunnel. He's lived in Camdenton ever since. He remembers they dug the tunnel from both sides at once, and local folks doubted that they'd ever meet in the middle. I think to most natives, they thought it'd be like if you got within 10 or 15 feet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the tunnel digging was right on the mark, and so the project continued. Supervised by dashing engineers in high top boots, they all endured mud, one of the coldest winters on record, 29 below one night. But the work was completed, and on November 9th, 1930, they threw the switch. The generators turned by water from the far side of a mountain, and it's worked ever since. The plant has, at that time, supplied a lot of the power to a lot of cities. All the West End, Marshfield, Mountain Grove, Dixon, Crocker, and all that and the building of Fort Wood. This plant primarily built Fort Leonard Wood. How's that? Uh, what I mean, it's supplied up the power, yes. Since then, demand for power has grown enormously. These generators are hardly large enough for one small town these days. Show Me Power Company owns Tunnel Dam and operates it by remote control from Marshfield, 40 miles away. Leonard North worked most of his life here, first building it, then running the plant. And over the years, he and other local folks found there's more to Tunnel Dam than electricity. That is some of the greatest fishing in the country right there. And the secret's out now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few rusty bolts, a couple of white city buildings, the old cable car that carried men and machines down the hill, reminders of a proud accomplishment that endures. There's a sense of pride in seeing that it's still going and 